Yeah. And that's the whole point. You're, we you're are trips. live. Yeah. Cody. Well, we'll just stop that conversation. <laughs> no, please continue. <laughs> oh, please. Everyone wants to record conversations. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Bamboo Trauma. <laughs> Thanks, Ali, for bringing us in. Yes. Okay, uh, hold on. That's Do an Allie. intro again. Please cut all of that out. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> it's that, Imad. And that's Ali. I, I'm Imad. And, and we have and Cody here. I'm also Imad. No, you're Cody. No, I'm Imad. Listen, <laughs> I sound just like Imad. <laughs> I sound just like Imad. And yeah, this is what Imad sounds like. Right. Ali, I, do better. I Look, know. Ali, go to the I yellow. failed immediately. Oh, that was a very good Imad impression. Thank you. I've been practicing. <laughs> Don't call me Imad. It's wrong. So much bass, Cody. He's been watching. <laughs> I'm just, I'm a bassy guy. Don't turn me down more. <laughs> no, I, I Don't turned, turn down my volume levels. I no, turned he, you up all the way on the bass. He, oh, oh, you did? Okay. <laughs> I was like, you already diminished my deep, rich, and bassy voice. <laughs> to, 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 what is, had insult I mean, to injury. Anybody can sound bassy. Yeah, if you got bass to go. Give me all trouble. I'll give you some bass still. It'll be in there. It'll sound weird, but I'm still gonna be bassy. Is that an R&B, R&B song? Uh, give me all trouble. I'll give you some. Bass. No, it's all no. It's all about that bass. No trouble, trouble. Oh, yeah. It's not R&B. It might be R&B. People watching know. this video are gonna be so confused because <laughs> I failed uh, like twice, and then it's like doing? Imad and Cody like bonding, like talking about life, and I'm just failing and failing and failing the exact same mission. Why are you talking about bondage? Ali, just like my real life. Crisis. You and, you and I just talked about the the reality of depression. In <laughs> Emma and I just talked about who wow. has more bass in their voice. I think that you and I had wow. a, bit, a bit more of a bonding experience wow. in that moment. Wow. <laughs> not, not, not according to Emod. Yeah, well. Emod, Emod uh, loves that 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 you time, that well, buddy buddy time. Emod is all about that bass fun. and no trouble. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Listen, you all need to stop, tu stop touching each other over there. Stop it. No, you so, can't stop this. Okay, you can't come hands, between true love. Keep ha your oh, hands to yourselves. Oh, love. Whoa. Love. Oh. Anyway, I'm following somebody's slobber on the ground. Hurry. All right, completely unrelated to what we're doing, but I have to ask. Yes. Allie. Yes. Have you seen Princess Bride? I have seen it twice. How have you seen it twice and your brother's never seen it? Imad is not uh, into culture? pop culture. Oh, well, let oh. me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Because let when did you. that movie come out? The 80s. The um, 80s. The okay. early, late. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Around when you were born. Uh, very early All right. 90s. All right. Well, let's think of a teenager, a teenage boy, an insecure teenage boy. Why would he want to watch <laughs> something called The Princess? Listen, I heard it. I'm just right. saying, I just heard yeah, it from another friend, and that's why I watched it. I agree with you, Ma. The title no, is very misleading I, for I, a, 1987. Yeah. Okay. But well, I agree. Why would a teenager want to watch a movie about sword fighting, betrayal, camaraderie? Right. And I, listen, that, was the year, that was the year I was born. I'm 1987. I wasn't even born yet. I'm specifically talking about the title compared to a teenage boy. Why would a teenage boy want to see a movie called The Princess Bride? See, the most ironic thing is what you're saying right now is literally what the movie's about. Grandpa, yeah. no, is I, it? You know what? To better not be any kissing. Oh, <laughs> dude, that's so true. I, I, I do, I do. And what's the main character? <laughs> I do want to see that movie. But grown up, grown up boy. I, I do want to see the movie because I heard you nothing should, but good things. Emma, you should watch it with your boys. I will. Like, I, I'm not even kidding. I think you three would like. It. Oh yeah, yeah. They would love it. Even, even, you know, with yes, even Cody and I, Cody and I, and Cody and I will speak for your family. You will love it. <laughs> Everybody talked at the same time. What'd you say? You know, your children love Pathfinder. Like they, yeah. they love it, even though they're ADD and modern youth about it. They will love this. Yeah. Oh, Pathfinder yeah. is a knockoff uh, Dungeons and Dragons game. Stop. I just wanted a reaction from my brother. Go you I just want to shit. Wow. Got to edit that out. No, I'm not. No, are we watching Everybody the story needs to again? Know that you're a fucking dickhead. What? Hey, is this something <gasps> we've already it's a seen? Joke. No, this hey. is the forging of the ring. This does cover the Silmarillion. Emma, Emma, we've already seen this. Yeah, he's one of the what nine? Is it's nine just writers? expanding upon the dream. It's a, expanding upon the dream that's Emma, not a dream. Six? I've never been more disappointed in, six? in my life. These six are the rings nine. of power. Yeah, I know. That's Each king. You know who that is right there? He's got great is teeth. Is that the uh, elf? So he was talking to Celebrimbor, 
the forger of the rings Co of power. Cody's judging Imad right now. I am He's judging Imad so hard. At him. Oh, My nerd know. level <laughs> is rising. Rage. Calibrimbor Calib was the forger of the rings of power. The ones that were given to the dwarves, the men, and the elves. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so you know who the other person in that cutscene was? The elf? I don't they were both elves. Oh. Or elf looking. Listen, uh, Cody's really upset oh, with man. Imod right now. So the one that wasn't know Lord Calibrimbor, of the Rings lore. do you know who the other one was? And then no. all of us are not paying attention to what's happening here. Okay. So no, it's Alex. great. Imod? No, I'm not I'm not complaining. I'm just I'm trying to give the audience a bit of some, oh. you know. All right, I'll I'll save this because you have three minutes to kick this thing's ass. I have to hold L to press Ali, shut up. Let Cody tell me what's, what's going on with the lore. Press X to shadow strike at Ghoul. I want to hear about the lore, Ali. I need help, You're though. fine. You're fine. Drop the hang. Uh, press L2 to aim at a ghoul. Thank you. That one up there, the one that's Please. yellow. Hello, and then thank press you. X to shadow strike a ghoul. Oh, Jesus. That lets you teleport. You just like warp a, over there. Like an m and -er. -er. I got a trophy. Oh my god. Hey, look, everyone. <laughs> Your trophy is called all right. To Rule Them All. All right, people watching this want to know the lore. Tell me. Tell me, Cody. Come on. All right. Celebrimbor was one of the elves, the original Risen Elves, who crafted the Rings of Power. He was tricked into it by the other individual in that cutscene. Yeah. Sauron. Aha. Uh -huh. That was Sauron oh. in his deceptive and beautiful form oh before gosh. he was first slayed physically. Oh, Jesus. Sauron is in this game. That's awesome! Wait, Sauron's in this game? Spoiler alert. That's who was just in I the cutscene, so not showed. a spoiler. Oh, that person is The Sauron. one who said, only one such as you could oh, yeah. achieve such a feat, Calibrimbor. Yeah. You know, the, the, I Ali, feel so doing? bad. Oh, thanks, Imad. Thank you for your support, Imad. <laughs> And thank Look you, that everyone, guy's butt. for God. not liking, subscribing, and deleting your <laughs> subscription of this no. of this channel. All right, later. Not for you, not for you viewers, but later for you two. I'm I'm gonna suggest another channel to you check two? out <laughs> because <laughs> there's leave that shit channel out of this. I will. That's why later I'm gonna tell you because y'all need to see this shit. It's insane. It's it's stuff that I in, definitely took for granted. I read The Hobbit at age six. I read. Uh, the trilogy for the Lord of Rings at age eight. Uh, God damn, it was hard to get into that in the beginning because when you first start to read um, uh, The Fellowship, it starts off with the whole thing about Bilbo's party and it's like, Grimgar, cousin of Dilbador, whose brother and neighbor to Shimshashaw. And it's just like, that's, I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's hard to get into that as a little kid, but I eventually powered through. Uh, I took that shit at surface level and was like, yeah, this is great. Watched the movies and I was like, really cool, this is great. Later on, came to understand, holy fuck, my god, the guy who made this is insane. The amount of a universe and creation and all this other stuff that happened. There's, not only is there a creation myth before all this happens, there is a, like, a history of events that leads to more history of events that leads to the series we know and love. It's insane. That's what's cool about it. There's so much backstory. It's the thing that shames me as a DM. Because here I am just slapdashing things together and being like, I'm gonna create a world. And it's like, no, you fucking infant in your sandcastle. I know. You don't know shit. Listen, listen, it's all yeah, about baby same. steps. It's all about baby steps, though. You think that he started writing from like a trillion yes. people population yes. wise. He emerged to, from the you know, womb with pen to... and paper in hand, and half his diction was already scribed. I thought you were about to say something else half besides his diction. Dick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Amon. <laughs> yes. This is the last time I'm on the show. My name is Cody. Uh, you might know me from being on my couch. Sorry, that's the last time I make that joke. <laughs> no, what they're going to say is uh, who, who's that Cody guy, that sexy voice? Is his name Cody? Where, let's follow him instead. This strange, seductive nerd with his intensely bassy voice. <laughs> You just stop touching my mic, Cody. <laughs> no, he was, I saw him out of the corner of my eye. He's over there twisting the bass. He's, he's turning so, up that bass so for Cody. It All about that bass. Master must remember, yes. Yeah, and? Master says put my clothes on. Take us, take us to what? I wasn't paying attention. I have ADD. Mission is complete. Good job, Allie. Thank you. I don't know how I achieved this goal. I don't you know either. completed the main mission. 
Mercury. It's gold. You just do what it tells you to do. There you go. Yeah. You North. see, um, Northeast. there are like North. psychiatrists that talk about how video gamers over time, they lose the sense of processing how to accomplish goals because they follow waypoints on video games. There's a, there's a neurological thing that is established where your brain is like, okay, well, we're used to being told where the, where the next objective is not figuring out what the next objective is. Ah, uh, so there's mind, no way mind blowing. you don't know what to do. So exactly, like in real life, you like let's say you want to be um, a doctor, but you don't know like you, you don't know the steps to take to get to be a doctor. You're just thinking so about much. that's what I want to be, but you don't have like you because yeah. we have this you yeah. don't know how to get there. I'm not gonna repeat myself, damn it, Imod. <laughs> it's recorded. Everybody knows. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, but anyway, Shut up, you fucking armchair psychiatrist. Uh, yeah, those psychiatrists are <laughs> smart, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ellie has a degree in psychiatry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look charming. A human, kill him. Okay, so for a second, fuck what's going on in the game, because what, what, what Ali was saying. It, it is a really interesting study on it, because uh, the idea that people, when they have too much choice, will never be satisfied, and when they don't have enough, they're equally dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as, like, video game examples, uh, I feel like Shadow of Colossus is a fantastic example, because mm -hmm. here's a game where it just throws you in, and it's just like, okay, play the game. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, how? What? What do I do? How do I go? And it's like, like well, oh, okay, you can hold a button, and that tells you what boss you got to get to. But it doesn't tell you how to beat that boss or what right. that boss does or right. any of that stuff. But it's it's still, like, at the very least, it's signposted. Because if you think about it, Shadow of Colossus probably would have been a garbage game if it just dumped you where it did and you didn't know where to go. Because there's a good deal of that game, and I love that game, but there's a good deal of that game is just getting from A to B with nothing in between. Mm -hmm. Like long expanses of travel, beautiful scenery, but but no you know, creatures or engagement or and, and quests or nothing. Right. And it's just A to B, deal right, with right, this right. thing, then A to B, deal with this thing. And that's kind of the point of the game mm -hmm. without giving... Like, really, we don't want to give spoilers about that game, but that's... Yeah. yeah anyway. I would hate to spoil this yes. this 21-year-old game to anyone <laughs> Listen, who's listening. Listen, Cody, that is a... Cody, that's a classic freaking story, though. Exactly. And in classic fashion, I didn't actually measure the time. I just threw out an arbitrary number like 21. Listen, we know everything on this channel, Cody. It's 21, damn it. Right? 21 years. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys? Yeah. Right? Tell me right. I, I'm just... I'm freaked out because... About? You're further than me. Why are you freaked out? Because he doesn't know how to help I've, you. I've, I've never seen... <laughs> You're yeah. on your own. Wow, Cody. I've never seen another human in this game, like, <laughs> during gameplay. Well, don't like, worry. Like a, a buddy to help you fight. Be aware. Well, he's not going to help you fight. He's probably just going to hang out. Listen, Imad, we're making assumptions, and let me show you how it's done. Herbs for the poison, Ellie. Herbs. I think what Emma's trying to tell you is that from this point on, all of your achievements will be one of those like ultra rare point one percent of players have achieved achievements because nobody's played past this game. I'm just glad that we're using my profile to unlock. Yeah, you know, that's these really messed up so because I just great. surpassed you on my my personal profile for trophies. Yeah, Ellie, but hey, nobody will know this unless they watch the video. Real quick, so. can you sign in as me? <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> I'm not an achievement hunter. Real quick, what should they? What what should everyone else do? Uh, you should kill that guy because he's about to yell. I will. Him. And like and subscribe, please. Please why, God, please. Why would they like please. and subscribe? So we can make more videos. Yes. We want to entertain you. Honestly, That's it. It's because my two boys here are so likable and subscribable. Yes. Please, if you like and subscribe, you feed my children. Please. Don't let him deceive you. It's partially a lie, but uh, yes. Partially. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, time is money, damn it. It is. It is. And it takes time. Listen to here, these videos. straw man. All the, all the fun music you're hearing right now, all the goofy sound effects, <laughs> that takes time, and people don't know that. He could be feeding his child. Yes, I could be feeding my child. No. My child. 
<laughs> I Granted, could be feeding my children, but most I'm of the, my time editing. I think you have a lot of happy juice in you right now, Mod. Yes, it's Granted, a great deal of that time for editing in this music was spent by those who donated their time to make royalty-free music, but that's besides the point. Cody, of children. quit, quit <laughs> stroking you. your beard, Cody. Uh, look, look over there. You're over there. Just, you're over my there. Just, children uh, and mm. the money of those who make their music. Yes. Like, yes. Wasted. For people who don't know, like Cody's beard goes down to his knees. It's insane. I've been working on it for a minute. I love it. But you can actually, like, make a bed out of his beard um well my goal ultimately is to grow my hair long enough to where when i'm 60 and i have a silver ponytail down to my ass that i might ultimately reach true enlightenment by tying the end of my ponytail to the end of my beard don't you all love cody i i i love that image that's amazing are you gonna split the balls are you gonna do two balls on the right man i'm just gonna let it lie where it falls Oh, get so it? A game of chance. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. I'm very excited. If I can't be arsed <laughs> to cut my hair. <laughs> I'm yes, I'm the, the way I grow my hair, if I want it to grow longer, I just, I stare at the mirror. I stare at myself for a second and I just go. <sighs> and then when you're done shitting yourself, you wait a couple years and it just happens <laughs> naturally. Now, I, I swear. I see my hair grow just a little bit. Emad, in the mirror. I think you're taking too many herbs at night. Oh, you mean herbs? Who's he? Or they, I guess, since it's plural. Yeah. Allie. Where's shut the, up. Where's they? Wow. Wow. No, just, just shut up. You're being dumb. Play I'm, really, game. I'm really offended. Allie. Emad, help me. As far as I'm concerned, you need Please. two more herbs. You know damn well he can't help you. He's never been this far. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I know. Am, You're am on I, your own, you am, fucking idiot. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I thought we had a loving, brotherly bond. And then you invite Since Cody over here, and you're when? like, "Oh, Cody, you're my best friend now." Yeah. Fuck hey. you, Ali. Ali was never my brother. <laughs> I am everyone's best friend, and I'm everyone's brother. <laughs> Hey, hey everybody! Oh. Welcome to the Cult of Cody uh, channel on YouTube. Here, hey, let's have fun. my special guest today. <laughs> what? Stop! Hey! <laughs> yeah, Cody's your brother, whether you like it or not. This Gross. screen just content ask is your sister. Just this is. <laughs> can somebody help me find the last poison herb? Yeah. Did you, uh, when you first <sighs> entered the area, what area did you enter from? Um, from the, uh, let's see here, from the south. Okay, head towards the south, because I'm willing to bet dimes to donuts you walked past it when you first got to the circle. Okay. What are I, you doing? I think, Get out of the fucking, fucking... I think you're I boring. Uh, bushes, that's what they're called. <laughs> wow! They're called bushes. Ali, there's a friend. Who? This guy? Oh, shit. I thought that was an orc. Bodomia. Ali, instead of crisscrossing, run the perimeter. Go around in a circle, around the green circle, and then just work your way inwards. That's so genius. Use that Go spiral in a circle tactic, bro. around the circle. Yeah. Spiral tactics. Are they in the bushes typically, or no? This is the just bushes random. are only for concealment. Oh, but they would random. never conceal the goal in the concealment. You know, if we just all put our heads together that, to tell Ali bullshit. what to do, that'd be nice. Hey, no touching. Stop! You're touching me. No. Keep our hands where Shh, they can Which of us them? suggested? It's okay. Shh. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. I, it, hey! Yeah, come here. Vested. What are we? Anyway. Shh, I welcome to Bamboo Trauma. Enough of that. <laughs> that. No, this is not that kind of channel. <laughs> Stop it with that sexy voice. Enough. I'm just going to lean in real close. And we're going to get personal for a moment. Imad! Put your shirt back on. And we're going to figure out exactly what it is you need. Dude, Cody, you need those meditation videos. Like, what's wrong with you? What are you doing with your life? You could be making loads more money than this. Cody, if you want to play, it's this one. That is so distracting. <laughs> so distracting. I, no, I literally need help because... I think I turned it the other way. <laughs> you did. You turned it all the way down. <laughs> I need help. I'm scared. We're going to take a moment. <laughs> Breathe deep. (sighs) 
Oh God! Please, no breathing. Stop. It's kind of turning me on. <laughs> you are not perfect. <laughs> you will never be perfect. Is that from like a movie or? Uh... I've unlocked a beast. <laughs> It's, it's, it's from a, uh, a really traumatizing episode of Kurt's the Cowardly Dog. Oh, dude. You remember I the episode? I knew that was familiar. Yeah. Yes, so yes. So he's, he's in the the hotel working with uh, Bushwick or whatever it was. Sorry, I just put it back to mid. I don't even know where oh, I was. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. But um, yeah, he's in there and he's he's going through all the different doors trying to figure out where the hell he's going or where Muriel is, I guess. But yeah, he opens one and there's he opens the door and everything is just like blue and aquatic looking like you're underwater. And there's just this floating head with like a bolt sticking out of part of it. And the other half has like a, a cord going from one to the other part of its head. And the head just like turns around and stares for like an uncomfortably long amount of time. And then it just goes, you are not perfect. And then Kurt screams and slams the door. Dude. Go ahead and Google that pic. That show is... I love that show. It's an, it's, it's extremely entertaining. Hands but down. God damn, it's, it's disturbing. It's All dark right. and disturbing. I'm dating myself here, but back in the day, uh, there was a... I'm Arch dating Network. myself. You're younger than me. Fuck you. Oh. Okay, well, I guess <laughs> I'm dating you too. <laughs> and also, Emma's insecurity. Which yes. It's a package deal. But anyway. Yes. He's lovable. Back in the day. Cartoon Network, you guys probably remember this. They had a deal where they were doing a uh, uh, Cartoon Network elect for president. Where they had like a thing you could you could uh, call in or write in or I don't even know if you could email in at that time. But you would uh, you would put your vote to who should be the president of Cartoon Network. And it was all based on cartoons. And so I don't even remember everybody that was running. But it was like Scooby-Doo was one of them. Uh, yeah. Birds of the Cowardly Dog. Yes. Uh, I think they had like chicken from cow and chicken or it might have been the devil from cow and chicken I don't remember there was oh, a bunch okay. of people Dexter from Dexter's lab like all these cartoon characters were don't before running. you tell us before you tell us I want to see if I can guess who won uh, go ahead that devil so everybody was voting to see you know who would be president and uh, I voted for courage because courage a cowardly dog was my favorite cartoon. I loved the, oh, one of the best deeply unsettling and weird nature of the show. Not mm -hmm. to mention all of the cultural references, the Doak brothers, for example. Uh, but no, Ali, you're incorrect. The winner was actually Scooby-Doo. Fuck off. Fun fact. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people love Scooby-Doo, but God damn it. What a boring show. He's got age, man. And in order it's to be so president, boring. you have to be old. <laughs> It's just yeah. the rules. Uh, all right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Factually, you're right. But God damn it. Yeah, well, Scooby God damn it. God damn it. You should be president. Scooby-Doo. No, I don't want to be president. Come on. Scooby-Doo is boring. Am I? You're president of Bamboo Trauma. Thanks. All right. Wow, that down. was so easy. You didn't even, like, kind of be like, no, Al, you know, we're in this together. Like, Thanks. Like, right, right away. Like, yeah. stamp of approval. I'm yeah. president of Bamboo Trauma. It's not yeah. Ali, just him on no big deal. Well, Ali, surely just, you're not suggesting yeah. that your statement was disingenuous. I am insecure, <laughs> too. Why do you think we came up with this name together, Bamboo Trauma? Surely oh. you wouldn't commit the social faux pas of... Of agreeing on a recording for the public? Why, that would be... No, let's look what I'm doing this person on the edge of the cliff. Why? Good riddance. <laughs> Ali, what are you... You've been in the same fucking you, green wow. circle for a goddamn millennium. We've been millennium. here for an hour. <gasps> Edit this oh. out. <laughs> Whose side are you on? Mine. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. I like you, Cody. Uh Fun side fact. 24 minutes. <laughs> Maybe it's remember fun. remember that. Uh, Courage did not win the election, uh, but then after Scooby-Doo was elected president, they had this whole thing where you could call in, and they were giving away, it was a, a co-op thing they were doing with Lego, and if you called in, they had this life-size Lego statue of Scooby-Doo, right? So fully made from Legos, full thing of Scooby-Doo. It was amazing. <laughs> Even as a kid, I didn't like Scooby-Doo that much. I watched it when it was on... But Hanna Barbera, that was just a bit behind me as far as age goes, and it was like it was okay when it was good or when it was on. But I also just didn't get a shit about anything else. Uh, I agree because made. anything that's made really big in Legos 
is amazing. Because my first thought is like, how did they get all of the same color? Yeah, bro, borderline. <laughs> it's just like that's a lot of Legos. Yeah, and it's amazing. I but think fuck like Scooby Doo. It was like <laughs> nine or ten year old me was just like, holy shit. So they were doing this whole thing where you could call in. It was a sweepstakes. So you'd call in. It would get you a number line. It was like being in like a radio call in, basically. And if you were the right caller, you would win this Scooby Doo, right? So here I am, like nine or ten year old Cody, how old, however old I was, uh, sitting there with my fucking cord phone that I had in our room so that we could answer the phone when our parents were too busy. <laughs> and I'm sitting there hitting the buttons, dialing in over and over again. And this is, we were watching this on this tiny TV. We used to have one of these little, like, uh, I was probably like, uh, like a 12 inch TV. <laughs> That was one of those TV VCR combos. Yes, in our room. I know yeah. those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm staring at this best. thing, Cartoon Network on, and I'm just mashing my fingers on the button to call over and over again. Busy signal, busy signal, busy signal, busy signal. And then eventually it goes through, and I, I, I'm listening, and they say, congratulations, you're the winner. <laughs> what? You were number one. You have won the prize. I only realized later they said, please stay on the line so we can get your information and mail you your prize. Oh, no. But my little kid brain is like, uh, congratulations, no. you're the winner. We know your address and we're sending you our prize. And I was like, yeah. And I hung up. Oh, my God, dude. Cody. Oh, I hate, Honestly, I hate it. Honestly, you know, forget, oh, forget dropping out of college. Uh, forget leaving high school early to go to college only to drop out. Forget whatever job I'm working now. Uh, forget my bad self-care, my depression, all that. My greatest disappointment in life is that I didn't get my Scooby-Doo Lego. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry, man. It's all right. It shaped the, the man I am today. I was going to say, created uh, a demon. It formed the, the, you know, unfathomable and incrossable rift that is my soul. And uh, I will only be... The setter for it. Dude, I mean, the only time I've ever called in to a radio station was, uh, you know, when I was a kid. I loved, li loved, uh, love Limp Biscuit. And I called them. I said, hey, can you play Stuck by Limp Biscuit? They're like, we don't have that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the first album, Limp Bizkit, the first album, listen to, I believe it's track number four, Stuck. It's one of the best songs. Oh! So yes, both equally important to both parties, Cody's story and Imad's. No. Both having their Mine own Mine does not compare to Cody's. Oh, hey, there's an I mean, this is the, the third time they've made me collect a group of amount of herbs yes honestly the thing you know that what? disappoints me most is that there aren't enough people that are subscribed and liking these videos that's what really hurts we're just gonna More we're over here Scooby like Doo. killing ourselves and talking about our depressing stories uh, please like and subscribe <laughs> oh yeah see an herb southeast where is it southeast get out of that southeast southeast south oh this southeast one? south 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 right there now it's east east right, right here yeah grab it Please, I got you. please, God, please. I got you. Oh, sweet Jesus! Hey, God, oh. let me take the reins. Please, oh God, Ellie. Oh yes? my God, please finish this fucking dumb thing. Thank you for helping me, Ahmad. I really appreciate that. Hey, so since we were talking about radio, radio talk show <laughs> victories and failures, uh, fun fact: I actually did win something on the radio once. Aside from that, uh, fast forward a few years to where I was in Colorado and I was working for my grandparents' neighbor. Steve, uh, who was a, a very interesting gentleman, a Taoist, um, you know, hard to believe, uh, a, a white Taoist in Colorado, but a uh, really good dude, had a job, or had a business where we would show up and paint buildings, exterior painting only. Um, while I was there, we used to jam on the radio all the time while we were outside working, and one time there was a, a call in. They just finished playing uh, Going the Distance by Cake on the radio. And uh, I wanted to hear another Cake song, so I called in. And I won, and I was like, can you play this other song by Cake? And they're like, oh, we don't do two in a row. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, not, not 30 minutes later, they held this radio contest. <laughs> 
Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I understand that going the distance ends up on the radio all the time. Nowhere near the best cake song. I know that cake's not even top tier or anything like that, but that's like low tier for cake. <laughs> I don't even know what cake is. <laughs> wow. well, you're going to sit there and tell me you don't know what cake is, Ahmad? You know what cake is. I know physically what cake it's is. It's a band, isn't it? Yes. Did you not know that? No. No, I failed the mission? Because you're stupid. I got all the herbs. Thank you so much for watching. We are watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching. We are Bamboo Trauma. <laughs> thank That's you. That's Allie playing thank you, everyone. miserably. The, yes. I'm Imad. Yes. And thank you, Cody. Thank you. Hey, find for out what I up. won next time. Hell yeah, next time. <laughs> or don't. Who knows if I'm here? Thank you.